Hey, Tess, if you think that I'm just going to curl up in a ball and surrender, you've locked up the wrong lady. No, I, uh, I haven't heard from Natalie. I'm sorry. Oh, I understand how you must have felt when Sarah was missing. Well, actually, um, it's kind of different, because, uh, Sarah was really missing. Natalie sent you a note saying she was going. Oh, right. Yeah, that's what John McBain said, that the cops couldn't do anything to help her. You know, maybe she just, uh, needs a little time. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, I talked to Rex, I talked to Roxy, and Natalie left town without a word to either one of them. Okay, well, do you think maybe she could be with Vicky? Uh, I, I called her several times, left messages. She hasn't called me back. So far, the only person that has talked to Natalie is Jessica. <laughs> She thinks that Natalie took off because of her. What, because she felt so guilty? Well, yeah, I mean, Natalie did feel guilty about helping me cover up what I did to the family. We both felt guilty about what happened to Nash, but even if she was planning on dumping me yet, I just don't imagine her abandoning her sister, not now. So you don't think that letter is for real, do you? <laughs> I don't know what to believe anymore, I mean... Leave in the truth, Jared. I would never Letter leave you. Handwriting detailing why she's leaving me. People just think I don't want to believe it's true. Except. Except. <laughs> Except nothing. All I have is this letter. And I read this letter and I can't help but... Please, time, Jared. Please don't give up on me. I don't know. It's just wrong somehow that she doesn't really want to be doing this. That she either she's not thinking clearly or it was a knee-jerk reaction or something. But it just doesn't make sense. And everyone you talked to thought you were crazy? Yeah, they, they, everyone thinks I'm just fooling myself. Everyone except my father. He, he thinks I should give up on Natalie. Your father was right. You seem pretty certain that I shouldn't give up on Natalie. Look. All I meant is that when two people love each other like you guys do, is that somehow you're going to find your way back to each other. And I know this from personal experience. Then why aren't you still together? Unfortunately, it seems like the biggest obstacle we had is... me. But don't worry. Natalie isn't me. I don't know. I just have a feeling that the two of you are going to find your way back to each other, no matter who was trying to tear you apart. By that. Who would want to keep Natalie and me apart? Look, I just meant that, uh, you know, when two people are so much in love, there's, there's always someone who tries to break you up. But, you know, the trick is you have to stay strong. Because you can never let them win. I'm trying. Okay. Uh, oh, Rox, what's happening? You, you, you talked to Natalie? No. Yo, Miss Tina, how's that nail holding up? Rick, you did an amazing job. I am a cuticle genius. <laughs> hey, DV. Okay, listen, man. I've been thinking about something. I realize that I know Natalie better than anybody on the whole entire planet. So you've come up with some idea where she might have been, right? No, I don't have a clue. But listen, she's done this before, okay? Because when we used to have a fight, she used to storm out. I never knew where she went. And then I would get really scared because I thought maybe something happened to her. But here's the thing. She came back. She always came back. Maybe not the next day, maybe not the next week, but she came back. And we could be yelling at each other. She'd tell me that she hates me, but I knew that she loved me. So if she came back for my love, you better believe she's going to come back for your love. You know what, Roxy, you're right. Whatever Natalie's reasons are for 
Leaving our love for each other is stronger. I have to believe she'll be back. Don't give up on me, Jared. I would never leave you. Tess can't keep us apart. I think we have to thin this out a little bit. <laughs> I'll do it for free. Okay. Thank you. I may actually take you up on that. <laughs> and you, I owe you a free Brazilian. And you, I'm going to give you highlights. And you're going to end up looking like me. Oh, it's okay. But I gotta go to work. Uh, What's going on, boy? Maybe we should see what he's so interested in downstairs. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should. Check. What's going on? Oh, okay. All right, well, sorry, pal. Whatever's got you so curious is gonna have to wait. No, no, don't wait, Jared. Maybe I should take him outside? Uh, no. No, um... You know what? Uh, there's a key right here. Uh, maybe it's to the basement. Why don't you give it a try? Come on, it's the key. Looks like you are in luck. Let's see what's down there that's got you so interested. Oh, my God. Where did it go? Where did it go?